Om Sai Ram. Baba, in his very own words, has said, Where my leelas are sung, where my kirtan is conducted, I am ever present over there in all directions. So you see, there is great power in satsang when devotees come together, festivities for readings, for bhajan, for kirtan. You know, numerous devotees all across the globe feel Baba's presence. So I would like to distinguish between two phenomena here where one is engaged in satsang either in the presence of other devotees or even when one is alone. But when you find yourself in groups where it may start as satsang but if you find there is a there is not any equality between all the people present there it's again something to be slightly aware of let me give a small example if you join a satcharit group where they do the parayan of the satcharit it's a very beautiful thing but if you feel there are certain people rather than holding the presence and space for everyone to come together where you feel you're being told what to do or you know there is an aspect of control it's something to be aware of because that is not satsang so it's unfortunately a rare thing to meet fellow devotees where true satsang is shared and Baba's words, Baba's teachings, Baba's leelas are remembered and this interplay of the ego where, you know, one would like to control the other or try, you know, which is a very, very common phenomena. This is something many devotees have discussed with me and shared and my only insight would be that you remember Baba's words and where satsang is, it's very precious, like coming to a devotee, for example, like I and being in her presence. I herself says that when you come together, one devotee will experience the devotion of the whole collective group together. That's why when we go to religious places, when we go to Shirdi, you know, when we are that whole aura, you know, we absorb that. So that is true satsang. But when people, you know, get in, like when you meet such people, like uh, you'll meet all sorts of people in groups. But if you come across certain individuals and then it tends to become like what I say, like a pedestal or a seesaw, that's something to just be mindful of, that you are there to be in that common presence, you know, to absorb Baba's energy, to always be in satsang. But if you see any sort of a slight, some push and pull or expectation, like a seesaw it's something to be just watchful of and baba himself will guide you you know there is no doubt about that so i hope you find this pointer useful om sai ram